Welcome back, guys, to another episode of... There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. Sarah, you should be careful who you trust around here. Secrets can be dangerous in the wrong hands. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. He's got the hats for him. Marjorie won't notice her for a few minutes longer. Could you... Make an excuse for me. I got you, girl. Do your thing. Please. Go on, then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I'm probably gonna I get in trouble for that, but that's you. okay. I don't mind. Get your D-dub, girl. Even though you don't have a D. I hope. <laughs> this is the homie that saved our lives. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here, but we have to talk. Uh-oh. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you alright? I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about- Shh. They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. I, I still have his knife. Oh, oh no. Just keep it hidden and clean the blood off it. Meantime, just. What about stay the other guard that saw me that night? How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll. I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's. It's Tom. Syndicate? Thank you, <laughs> Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with and a, dead a man man's that blood. saw me that night. And I don't. Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Truly, it's nothing, Sarah. <laughs> she thought we were getting freaky back He's there. He's a friend. Really? Is that so? Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, if you really want to know. First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny... And I gave him a handy in the bushes. He told me <laughs> story about this festival they have. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. No! <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? 
Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, the then... The King's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the King. She said she'd serve the King, yet now she puts your needs first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit That's bogus! Elsewhere. We just got screwed. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah? What do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? Please, Lady Marjorie. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home Damn, to your family. Damn, she's not playing around. I promise I won't speak to him again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. She is all business. Uh oh. Back with Roderick. On our homestead up in Ironrath. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. Oh no. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the courtyard. He's not back from the wall yet. Then make sure Royland's there. They're banging their shield. What the hell are they doing? Is this over us not... You guys remember we were trying to starve them out so they would leave. Is this over that or what? Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. Oh shit, they're burning. <laughs> <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> What a scumbag laugh. Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Dude looks like Draco Malfoy. 
Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick, beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from no now on. No way! What? You can't! You'll have to go through me! I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not, you'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. Good old Duncan's I've back. I've what you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. Your men aren't fucking guests. We'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roose Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. Let's rumble, baby. No. You know I actually don't think we're that. ready to do that, so yeah, I think he's... You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. You can't go in there. We're gonna stop him. We can, and we We're gonna we try. Will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Damn it. Just got bitched out. 